My name is Tom. I'm working in Liwer, when on the, where on a daily basis I'm uh, doing product management and product development. And today I will tell you about bugs. Bugs, bugs, bugs in your application. You have an application, mobile, web, whatever. You have a team who is doing ongoing development. They are working on new versions, new releases and you struggle with a lot of bugs. And the question is why? Why your team is not able to tackle it properly? And the first question is what is important? Yeah, why? What we need to discuss to find the answers. So the most important is that when you have a team then to have good results, the team is consists from the process, the tools and the people. So the people are in the team, but the team is a bit more than only people. So even if you have great senior developers, but they don't follow the same process, they don't use the same tools, then probably you will not achieve great results. Yeah, so this is very important to understand. And now we will talk about the first thing the process. Especially when you're a business person and you don't know all those technical small things, issues, technical stuff, then you need to understand and you need to know that your team is following the same process. So for example, you have version 1.1 of your mobile application in stores and then in the meantime your team is working on version 1.2 and suddenly in version 1.1, they found someone found a bug. And what is happening now? Does your team, uh, is your team able to stop development, release the fix for version 1.1 very fast and then continue development of version 1.2? Or you need to wait because of ongoing development of version 1.2? Yeah, so this is one of examples uh, when then a lot of bugs uh, appear because team is uh, under pressure and they are not able to divide versions. The second, there is no standardized, well-designed uh, QA uh, process. So process where someone is testing your application. So of course, uh, if you ask developers, then most of them will answer, yeah, on my computer it's working, but the question is when we can say that we have uh, application with the good quality. Yeah, and the answer is simple, when it's working, but not on your developer computer, but on your client computer. Yeah, and between uh, the moment when developer finish his job and say, hey, it's, it's working on my computer and releasing on production, there is few steps which should be done before we can say we are ready. So ask your team, ask your developers what they do then, how they do then, and uh, uh, how it works on daily basis. Because maybe you will find that there is not too many ideas how to tackle it. And the last one, maybe not last, because we can discuss about many, many things, but the last which is quite important, is how we manage the bugs which come from the outside, from the market, from the users. Yeah? For example, we are working on this version 1.1 and then we have a bug from users, uh, from the user. And then what we do? Do we plug, uh, add uh, this bug directly to the sprint backlog and developers are working or we put it in the backlog or we do something else? Is this bug very important or this is just mosquito bite or it's a stopper and we really need to tackle it? A lot of questions, but your team should have implemented process where they manage all those things in the same way for each bug. Yeah? And then we go to tools. Of course, if you have great developers, but they use different tools but, or would it's worse they don't use tools at all, then probably you will struggle. And from the tools, 
we can discuss such things like test-driven development, behavior-driven development, yeah, how they manage documentation, how they write tests, how they automate tests, do they use any tools for automated functional tests, uh, user acceptance tests, do they use any tools for manual testing, or they do just exploratory testing. Yeah? So, a lot of questions, a lot of tools, methodologies which can be used here. Yeah, and uh, for example, the code, how the code is stored. Do they use branches correctly? If you don't know what branches are, ask your developers. If they don't know or they are working or they are used to work on the master branch, then probably you're in trouble. So this is what you should ask. And the last one, which is not always the case, uh, and in many, many times, it is not a case, but sometimes it is happen, it's happening. Your team have not enough skills. So, for example, your project was small and your team was okay half a year ago, but now you struggle, you tackle with much bigger challenges because it's scaling, you need different skills and your team has have not enough experience yeah so this is something what is uh, important to know but architecture for some reason someone designed something wrong the person and then developers are following it yeah? and no one is uh, telling you hey let's stop for a minute uh, and let's uh, rethink our architecture or let's change it for for example from uh, monotonic to microservices yeah, when it's necessary. So there's a lot of things connected directly with people who can't make right decisions because there is some reason yeah, and sometimes it's lack of, of skills. And the next one is that you can have a great team but if you push them with many features, if you don't allow them to do their work well because they are under the stress of uh, pushing, 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 pushing uh, with features, 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 then you can be in, in trouble. Yeah. So the thing is not to do everything, but it's better to do less, but the correct things. Yeah. And the last is technological depth. It means that your team is using old technologies or even old versions of some libraries, frameworks, and for some reason, no one has time to upgrade them. And then after one, two years, you will see that the technology of your product is really outdated. And then you will be in big problems because it's much easier to spend some time each quarter to, to uh, upgrade your technologies, change something, improve something, then wait two, two years because we are under pressure of adding features, 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 and then whew, suddenly we find ourselves that uh, it's not done. Yeah, so this is also very important. And uh, for today, it's all. I think that it was quite a lot. If you have any questions, if you struggle with your product, contact me, I will help you. You should find a link uh, how to contact me under this video. So look there and we are in touch. And have a good day. Thank you and bye.